Good morning, Monomoy School family. It's an exciting time of year as we start school and it's in full swing. Clubs and sports are up and running and Spirit Week and Homecoming Dance are just around the corner. I'd first like to give a huge shark shout out to Mrs. Burton and the peer leaders. They worked extremely hard preparing and presenting our youth risk behavior survey data. They also hosted a community forum and acted as a panel handling difficult questions. They were so impressive and I am so proud to be their principal. Thank you. Over the past five years, we have worked extremely hard developing a philosophy and collective commitment that our school is a home away from home. Our beliefs and actions support a safe, welcoming, and nurturing environment. You are important at Monomoy Regional High School. This year, our learning focus will be read, write, reason, and relate. Simply put, we want to challenge our students to read and write more across all disciplines at our school. We want them to be able to think critically and reason in class, and we want our entire school community to relate, meaning building strong relationships, connections, bonds, and connections. A major part of our success as a school has been our insistence that our students have a strong voice in the decision-making process. As building principal, I will be encouraging the use of students' voice through the establishment of our first ever Sharkness Room. The concept is borrowed from the Harkness Method, where learning takes place through discussions held around a Harkness table. started today. She thinks that because after the first revelation it talks about how there was a long period of time where he did not get anything from God. More attention that allowed him to use his like poetic skills to actually convey his message. But is, yeah. are these his words? Why is it that she says that your Lord must have come to hate you? Well, I think it's because they took him to Wadaqa right after the revelation. So he must have been really frustrated and ashamed in a sense that he was associated with these people that he thought were charlatans. It's kind of exhilarating in a sense. As you become more familiar with Harkness, you come to realize that learning from others rather than just one person or from yourself, allows your mind to be able to explore rather than just accept. In nearly every case, yes. The students around the table are all teaching each other all the time. Wow, right, that's a lot to ask. But at the same point, if you put good people together, amazing things happen. In all honesty, I remember going home and being like, I don't know how I can do math like this. You kind of get excited. Our teacher had given us the tools, but then like we were actually the ones who found the answer. I didn't go to a school like this. I had great teachers, don't get me wrong. Absorbed, read all this stuff and spit it right back out exactly the way they wanted me to. And then six months later, nothing. That's not actually why I'm here. I'm not an expert trying to teach you what happened in the past. I'm here to try to foster an environment where we're going to sort this out together. It's in the silences where you find points of reflection, where that process starts to develop and you start to unpack a little bit more of who you are. The table's made out of wood. It brings us all together. We're all facing somebody, you know, so you have to make eye contact with someone, you have to talk to someone. Part of the text right? that question. I gained the skill of listening truly listening to somebody. Mm -hmm. We have Mr. Heron and we're doing creative writing and dude one of the funniest exercises we did the other day was we were doing this facts or fiction exercise. Alright. Okay so, so yeah, this is that makes yeah. sense. That's, That's what we to pod, yeah. Oh my god this is we so did cool. It. <laughs> you have to show this to your math class I'll show it to my math okay. class. This is uh, exciting. <laughs> yeah, and so we basically just uh, put this rod through the the, the magnet one just like floated it through and it was like, what? I 
think Harkness just works. Harkness works in any class, in any subject. It's more important to learn than just get something right. It is important to me that our students and staff have access to their principal and have a voice. To me, Sharkness table, as we will call it here, symbolizes the family dinner table. It will be a place where everyone has a seat at the table and equal say. It will be a place to hold meaningful conversations, share ideas, collaborate, and enjoy each other's company as a school family. The Sharkness Room is located in the heart of our school on Main Street. Make sure you check it out. I would like to start connecting with students immediately through cr the creation of our new Principal Advisory Council, or PAC. The PAC is open to all Monomoy Regional High School students. Our first meeting will be Wednesday, October 23rd, a day seven, Jossum A in the Sharkness Room. If interested, please sign up on Enriching Students on day one, looking for Burkhead Principal Advisory Council. We will also be holding many of our school leadership and staff gatherings at the sh Sharkness table. To encourage everyone to embrace the Sharkness concept, the room will be available for students and staff to use. Staff may sign it out on school dude and interesting student groups or clubs may see Ms. Kelly in the main office to sign the room out. As proud members of the Monomoy family, we enter into our sixth year as a highly successful school on the move. I look forward to working with our students, hearing their voice, and providing an opportunity for more student involvement in the decision-making process of our school. We hope to see you on Wednesday, October 7th. Thank you.